Oh shit. Hey yo, quick announcement y'all. This video right here is brought to you by Poshmark. Poshmark is an app where you can clean out your closet and make money at the same time. Yeah man, you could be a good Samaritan, go to the thrift store and donate it for a good cause, yada yada yada. But why not make money out of it? So the clothes I'm showcasing are gonna be in my in-store closet. If you guys are tripping, you guys don't have access to the post office to ship, the post office can come to you and pick it up while they deliver your mail. Yo, Marie Kondo it up and get rid of your old shit that you don't wear anymore to make more space and make money out of it. So click the link in the description to download Poshmark and start your own closet. Yo, what's up y'all? This is John Manalo and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna be restoring these Adidas Yeezy Turtle Doves. Man, the amount of rare and expensive shoes that I find at Lake Minnetonka is mind-boggling. Can you imagine I found these turtle doves at the bottom of the lake and I could flip them for at least $2,000? That's crazy. I'm flabbergasted. So we're going to clean the uppers, the laces, and the insoles separately. So I'm just going to remove the insoles and laces first. The first thing we have to tackle is cleaning the upper material. So I put rejuvenator in this spray bottle so it's easier for me to distribute the solution and not waste any of it since it is pretty expensive y'all. It is top shelf for sneaker cleaning. I feel like we're going to need a lot more water than that so we're going to use a hose and use rejuvenator to remove any of the mud on the uppers and the midsole. So we've basically removed majority of the dirt but there's still dirt lingering inside of the fabric. Now if you let these fully dry, they're going to go through a process called wicking, where the dirt underneath will rise after it fully dries. Now to remove these stains, we are going to be using bigger guns. We're going to be using OxyClean Versatile and OxyClean White Revive. Now be very careful when you're working with suede, because there's a patch of suede on the side of the shoes. If you get any of these chemicals onto the shoes, then it will bleed onto the uppers. So what I'm applying to the back tabs are a mixture of water and OxyClean Versatile just to loosen up the embedded dirt and rise to the top. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing for the whole prime net upper. Now that we've finished with the OxyClean Versatile, we're going to be moving on to the OxyClean Laundry Detergent. This will lift up the stains that the Versatile loosened up and wash it away. Now you can see the difference between the shoes that we've worked on and the shoes that we haven't touched yet. Since I'm not using the OxyClean Versatile anymore, we are going to be using the same mixture to clean our laces. Now this won't work unless you have a tabo. Now if you've been to a Filipino household, you can see a tabo right next to the toilet. So I wanted the OxyClean to permeate through the fabric and really like loosen up the, the dirt. So after 30 minutes of letting it chill, we are just going to use plain old water and rinse it out. Now if you guys look hard enough, the shoe on the left side of the screen is more gray than the one on the right. And the ankle collar and pull tabs on the shoe on the right looks a lot more whiter. Alright guys, we're just going to add a little bit more laundry detergent to make sure that these laces look fresh. Alright guys, so now that's taken care of, we're gonna take care of the rubber part of the bottom sole. So the previous owner painted this all white, which is incorrect. It should be like an eggshell off-white on the midsole, not completely coke white. So I'm gonna lift the stains and deoxidize the rubber parts of the bottom sole using OxyClean, hydrogen peroxide, and cornstarch. Now you could use the same formula with any plastic parts that you have laying around the house that you want to whiten up. The solution to do this is called Retrobrite and a lot of people in like the early 2000s have been doing this to revitalize the really old OG keyboards from like the 80s and 90s. And even they use it on game consoles like Game Boys and stuff. Now I don't know the exact measurements, I just eyeball everything until I get the right consistency. Now it will foam up once you add the OxyClean powder. So all you have to do is just mix it again to let all of the air out. Now if you guys are tripping about if you got the right consistency or not, just ask your girl, hey, does this look similar to anything? And if she gives you that look look, that means you got the right consistency. Now we're only going to target the rubber parts of the shoes and the boost to line it up. Now we are going to put it in the light box since this does emit UVB rays just like the sun. 
Now the boost did get a little lighter and the rubber sole looks brand new. The boost didn't get completely white because they are stained. So in order to remedy that, we are going to be painting the boost white. All we have to do now is just strip the existing factory paint on the midsoles and repaint the midsoles with our own mixture. I will be using a paint stripper to make it easier for me to remove the bottom paint on the soles. Since the midsoles are made of polyurethane, the same material that Jordans are made of that crumble, it will have a negative reaction with acetone and it will disintegrate the material. So the paint stripper will only affect the paint and not the midsoles. So after I'm done with this step, I will be using con balls and acetone to remove excess residue from the paint stripper. I will be taping up the rubber portions of the shoe since I don't want any paint on that area. I will be airbrushing the shoe so I will apply a saran wrap on the uppers so the paint doesn't get on the prime knit material. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a base coat on the midsole and paint the boost white. Your paint jobs will be stronger if you lay multiple thin coats opposed to fewer thicker coats. I'm applying a white base coat to ensure uniformity when I apply my real paint color match. Now that the boost looks factory white, I will be covering it up with paint so I can paint the midsole to its original factory color. Now in this paint mix, it does have a more yellowish hue to match the original color, so I'm going for like an eggshell white. Now the last step to this is to dye the suede patch back to original black. Now I'm using Jacquard's Jet Black dye to dye the suede back to its original color. If you don't have Jacquard, you could use Angelus Flat Black and GAC 900 to do the same thing. Now let's not forget about the insoles. We are going to be using Rejuvenator's Laundry Detergent since it does smell hella good. Now if the whole shoe stinks, make sure to put it in the freezer to kill the bacteria off and then that should do the trick. Now I realized I wasn't wearing gloves, so I was like, that is disgusting, so I put on some gloves. Make sure to stay strapped, guys. You, want, you don't want to catch anything. So make sure to wear some gloves while you're dealing with like people's insoles and nasty shoes. Yo, this concludes the end of the video, guys, so please remember to click on the link in the description below to download Poshmark and start your own closet. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching my videos, and God bless. Yay! Thank you.